Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be reading for Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Cancer, this is all about how your person is feeling about you. So if there's a specific person in mind and you're wondering how they're feeling, um, this reading is for you. Keep in mind, it is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, that's okay. But please feel free to check out your other placements as well. Cancer, let's see what your person of interest is feeling. What are they showing you? Um, is it different to what their deeper feelings are? That's interesting. I'm going to um, not take these because they fell on the floor, but um, we have a very interesting combination of cards here. In fact, I'm just going to I'm just going to leave them up there. I'm just going to leave them up there for now. Let's see what else wants to come out for my cancers. This is definitely a bit of a complicated situation. Um, with the cards that have that have come out thus far. Let's see what else um, eventuates in the rest of the reading. But it's interesting because I'm feeling like there's a little bit of a background of arguments. Um, there's some pain associated with this connection. There's someone maybe being a little bit selfish. Um, but it's like a weird combination of naivety and um, selfishness. It's It's interesting. It's getting more positive <laughs> with the two of cups there, <laughs> which is good. You could be dealing with another um, water sign, another Cancer or a Pisces Scorpio. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be. Let's see what else we've got here. That's too many. Yeah, that's too many. Just want one card for the center. What's going on? I want to know. That's again too many, but I just want to show you what's come out. Um, I feel like someone is um, a little bit not guarded. They're just kind of... It's hard to know what they're feeling. Um, they keep a lot under wraps. They don't share too much of their actual... Um, Feelings, they keep it hidden. So, um, some of you may need to use your intuition a bit on this because you may not be getting um, the straightforward answers that you seek. Let's see what else has to come out here. You could be dealing with a Capricorn there. Devil energy in the center of this reading, but certainly. Um, this um, connection has the potential and has been very toxic in the past. Um, yeah, and it's going to be um, time soon to really clearly understand what's going on here. I feel like there have been a lot of petty arguments in the past. I feel like this is someone who has a very strong ego. They're not someone who lets their guard down very easily. They're not someone who wants to open up very easily because of what that can mean for them. They don't want to be put into like a position of weakness or a position of having less power. They want to have the upper hand. They want to have the power and the control of the situation. I feel as though you are also a strong person in this. I feel like they have not been able to completely, you know, do what they want with you or dominate you yet. But I do have to give a few warnings here because I'm seeing that they just want to win. They just want to win all the arguments with you. They want to sort of, um, I hate, I don't want to use the word manipulate, but they want to manipulate arguments to their favor rather than um, making an improvement to the connection or rather than thinking about, okay, what do we both want? How are we going to compromise? How are we going to come to a good agreement about this? They are just really in it for themselves. And for some reason, I feel as though they may be pulling at your heartstrings a little bit. Maybe there are children involved. Maybe you two grew up together. Um, maybe you two have some sort of shared memory, some kind of shared bond um, or again some kind of shared like cultural aspects or similar upbringing something like that or they could be um, children that you two share or that you have or they have um, or that maybe one of you works like with children um, or something but there's children around you who kind of help um, provide a little bit of a 
buffer. I feel it's terrible as it sounds because we got the Seven of Swords here. I feel like this person is using that energy in order to just get what they want. Um, like they're maybe using it as a bit of a distraction or something, but really they're just in it for them and they're playing like they're such a naive, nice person, but really um, they have other things on their mind and they just want to take what they can get from this connection. And you need to be careful here because they're coming across as the two of cups and they're coming across like, you know, this is soulmate energy and you two are meant to be together and, you know, let's have a fair and ban balanced and equal um connection but then beneath that we have the devil <laughs> the devil energy which unfortunately means that it sort of spills over into being a little bit toxic um which you know these these two cards they shouldn't be together like this they, they shouldn't be um this kind of thing this could be someone who you work with there could be something a little bit um not forbidden but there could be something that's you know not uh really um, it's not really like kosher about this situation. Like maybe you two are partners in work or you colleagues in work, and this is not supposed to be a, you know, a relationship or a man, romantic connection, but it is. And even though two of cups is a card of, of, you know, equal partnership, equality, um, divine counterparts, that sort of thing. It's like the devil coming up beneath that, um, yeah, it really has the tendency to descend into something toxic. You need to be careful. You need to be careful with this person. They could even be thinking that um, this is going to financially benefit them. They could be thinking that this is going to benefit their career somehow or this is going to help them achieve a better position in their work or in their business um, this is going to help them be an entrepreneur. There could be some sort of family inheritance that's going to help them. Um, there's some kind of financial benefit um, that they feel like they're going to gain. Um, they don't like the fact that, um, again, it's it's been difficult to just completely 100% manipulate you. Um, you've still got this card on your side. You've got the strength energy on your side, Leo energy here. So Cancer, I feel as though, um, you know, you're maintaining your own strength and your own dignity in this situation. Um, and it's, um, that's putting a little bit of a pause or a roadblock block on what this person wants to do and how they want to move it forward, um, which is something that they, they don't like. Um, this person is feeling extremely defensive and guarded, but they're also feeling that you are this way. It's like a big, big battle in order to get you to put these defenses down. Um, they don't know how they want to do that, but they want you to put your guard down. Um, I would say do not <laughs> let your guard down around this person. Um, you know, you want something that is fair and balanced and equal. You want a passionate new beginning. You want something that is going to make you feel excited and happy and optimistic for the future. Not that gives you this funny feeling of like, can I trust this person? I don't know. Like they're saying one thing, they're saying the right things. They are giving me the right, you know, actual physical and verbal messages but then there's you know their actions just don't back it up somehow like it's just not quite right you need to trust that you need to get to the bottom of it we have a need for this um, justice energy libra energy you've got to cut through to the truth and you want to balance reciprocal situation you want to get what is owed to you what you deserve you don't want to be constantly putting in effort and not getting the same amount back and i feel like some of you may have emotionally invested a little bit too much in this more so than this person um, has actually given you back um, it's just a different energy. It's a different way of doing things. It's different wants and needs. And, you know, your goals are different. And I'm not seeing this as, you know, a highly compatible situation. You've got to be careful about what this person truly wants. And maybe they're getting away with it because you haven't called them out on it yet. It's time to do that. It's time to, um, you know, make a call about 
what you need to discuss and what is what it is that you deserve and what's going to be fair in this connection because it can't go on like this if you feel like they're always taking what they they want and getting what they want and you're left with this funny feeling of I'm getting these promises I'm getting this conversation that sounds great, but then there's some weird feeling in the pit of my stomach because I know it's just, it's not how it should be. So I hope that guy that I'm reading resonated with you guys. Um, If it did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope it was helpful. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you all in the next video.